Old Streets of the Mediterranean and Middle East. The principal streets were ways made by creatures and later adjusted by people. The most punctual records of such ways have been found around certain springs close to Jericho and date from around 6000 BC. The primary signs of developed streets date from around 4000 BC and comprise of stone cleared roads at Yore in current Iraq and wood streets protected in a bog in Glastonbury, England. During the Bronze Age, the accessibility of metal instruments made the development of stone clearing more attainable. Simultaneously, interest for cleared streets rose with the utilization of wheeled vehicles, which were grounded by 2000 BC. Cretan Stone Streets At about this time the Minoans on the island of Crete fabricated a 30-mile street from Gortina on the south coast over the mountains at a rise of around 4, 300 feet 1, 300 meters, to Knossos on the north coast. Built of layers of stone, the street assessed the need of seepage by a crown all through its length and even drains along specific segments. The asphalt, which was around 12 feet 360 centimeters wide, comprised of sandstone limited by a mud gypsum mortar. The outer layer of the focal part comprised of two lines of basalt sections 2 inches 50 millimeters thick. The focal point of the street appears to have been utilized for people strolling through and the edges for creatures and trucks. It is the most seasoned existing cleared street. Streets of Persia and Babylon The most punctual significant distance street was a 1, 500-mile course between the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean Sea. It came into some utilization around 3500 BC, yet it was worked in a coordinated way just from around 1200 BC by the Assyrians, who utilized it to join Susa, close to the Persian Gulf, to the Mediterranean ports of Smyrna, Izmir, and Ephesus. More a track than a built street, the course was copied somewhere in the range of 550 and 486 BC by the incomparable Persian lords Cyrus II and Darius I in their popular royal road. Like its archetype, the Persian royal road started at Susa, twisted northwestward to Arbela, and thus continued toward the west through Nineveh to Haran, a significant street intersection and parade focus. The principal street then, at that point, kept on twinning ends at Smyrna and Ephesus. The Greek history specialist Herodotus, expounding on 475 BC, put the ideal opportunity for the excursion from Susa to Ephesus at 93 days, albeit imperial riders crossed the course in 20 days. In Babylon around 615 BC the Chaldeans associated the city's sanctuaries to the imperial castles with the processional way, a significant street where consumed blocks and painstakingly formed stones were laid in bituminous mortar. Egypt Herodotus acknowledges the Egyptians for building their first streets to give a strong track whereupon to pull the tremendous limestone blocks utilized in the pyramids, and archaeological proof demonstrates that such street building occurred southwest of Cairo somewhere in the range of 2600 and 2200. The wheel showed up in Egypt at the moderately late date of around 1600 BC. There is little proof of road surfacing in antiquated Egyptian towns, however there is proof of the utilization of cleared processional streets prompting the sanctuaries. Greece The early Greeks relied principally upon ocean travel. The Greeks constructed a couple of stately, or holy, streets, cleared with formed stone and containing wheel trenches around 55 inches 140 centimeters, separated. Old Streets of Europe The Amber Routes During the second thousand years BC, exchange ways created in Europe. One course, for instance, ran among Italy and Spain by means of Marseille and close by Heracli, near present-day Avignon, France. Such ways were utilized for the development of stones from Denmark, freestone from Belgium, salt from Austria, lead and tin from England, and golden from Northern Europe. By around 1500 BC a considerable lot of the courses in Eastern and Focal Europe had connected together into a broad exchanging network known as the Amber Routes. 
four courses have been recognized, the first from current Hamburg, Germany, southwestward by double courses through Cologne and Frankfurt to Lyon and Marseille. The second likewise passed from Hamburg south to Passau on the Danube and afterward through the Brenner Pass to Venice. The third started at Samland on the East Prussian coast, where Golden is as yet found, crossed the Vistula River at Thorn, and thus proceeded with southeastward through the Moravian Gate to Aquileia on the Adriatic. The fourth, the Baltic Pontus Street, followed the super eastern streams, the Vistula, Saw, Sereth, Prut, Bug, and Dnieper. While the amber routes were not streets in the cutting-edge sense, they were improved at waterway intersections, over mountain passes, and across wet and damp regions. A couple of leftovers of these streets endure today. They were built by laying a few series of logs toward the street on a bed of branches and limbs up to 20 feet 6 meters, wide. This layer was then covered with a layer of crossover logs 9 to 12 feet long laid next to each other. In the best log streets, each fifth or sixth log was affixed to the hidden earth with stakes. There is proof that the more established log streets were worked preceding 1500 BC. They were kept up within a level state by being covered with sand and rock or grass. Furthermore, the Romans utilized side trenches to lessen the dampness content and increment the conveying limit. The Roman Streets The best efficient street manufacturers of the old world were the Romans, who were exceptionally aware of the military, monetary, and authoritative benefits of a decent street framework. The Romans drew their aptitude basically from the Etruscans, especially in concrete innovation and road clearing, however they likely likewise took in abilities from the Greeks, brickwork, Cretans, Carthaginians, asphalt structure, Phoenicians, and Egyptians, reviewing. Concrete produced using concrete was a significant improvement that allowed a considerable lot of Rome's development propels. The Romans started their street-making task in 334 BC and by the pinnacle of the domain had assembled almost 53,000 miles of street associating their capital with the wilderness of their distant. 29 extraordinary military streets, the Vi Militares, emanated from Rome. The most renowned of these was the Appian Way. Started in 312 BC, this street in the end followed the Mediterranean coast south to Capua and afterward went toward the east to Beneventum, where it separated into two branches, both arriving at Brundisium Brindisi. From Brundisium the Appian Way navigated the Adriatic coast to Hydruntum, a sum of 410 miles from Rome. The commonplace Roman street was striking in origination and development. Where conceivable, it was underlying a straight line starting with one locating point then onto the next, paying little mind to snags, and was persisted swamps, lakes, gorges, and mountains. In its most elevated phase of advancement, it was built by uncovering equal channels around 40 feet separated to give longitudinal waste, a sign of Roman street designing. The establishment was then raised around 3 feet over the ground level, utilizing material taken from the channels and from the neighboring cleared ground. As the significance of the street expanded, this bank was logically covered with a light sheet material of sand or mortar on which four primary courses were built. 1. The statuman layer 10 to 24 inches 250 to 600 millimeters thick, made out of stones somewhere around 2 creeps in size. 2. The ruddus, a 9-inch thick layer of cement produced using stones under 2 crawls in size. 3. The core layer, around 12 inches thick, utilizing concrete produced using little rock and coarse sand, and, for vital streets. 4. The summum dorsum, a wearing surface of huge stone pieces something like 6 inches down. The all-out thickness hence fluctuated from 3 to 6 feet. The width of the Appian Way in its definitive improvement was 35 feet. The two-way, vigorously delegated focal carriageway was 15 feet wide. 
On each side it was flanked by checks 2 feet wide and 18 inches high and resembled by single direction side paths 7 feet wide. This huge Roman street segment, taken on around 300 BC, set the norm of training for the following two, zero. Antiquated streets of South and East Asia. India The Indus human advancement in Sindh, Balochistan, and the Punjab presumably thrived in the period 3250-2750 BC. Unearthings show that the urban communities of this progress cleared their significant roads with consumed blocks solidified with bitumen. Extraordinary consideration was given to S. Proof from archaeological and recorded sources shows that by AD 75 a few strategies for street development were known in India. These incorporated the block asphalt, the stone piece asphalt, a sort of concrete as an establishment course or as a genuine street surface, and the standards of grouting F. Road clearing appears to have been normal in the towns in India toward the start of the common era, and the standards of seepage were notable. The delegated of the street and the utilization of trenches and drains were normal in the towns. Northern and Western India in the period 300 to 150 BC had an organization of very much fabricated streets. The leaders of the Mauryan domain, 4th century BC, which extended from the Indus River to the Brahmaputra River and from the Himalayas to the Vindhya Range, by and large perceived that the solidarity of an incredible realm relied upon the nature of its streets. The Great Royal Road of the Mauryans started at the Himalayan boundary, went through Taxila, close to current Rawalpindi, Pakistan, crossed the five floods of the Punjab, continued via Jumna to Prayag, presently Allahabad, India, and proceeded to the mouth of the Ganges River. A service of public. Thanks for watching. Bye now. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe to life is often if you haven't already click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.